what's up hello welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new my name is Kayla codename glitterbug here on the channel and today we are going thrifting to find spring pieces hey guys welcome or welcome back as I said today we are heading to the Goodwill and we're gonna see if we can find just some spring pieces of clothing I am gonna try to find tops and bottoms but who knows, I oftentimes walk away with just tops. I am super particular with how bottoms fit and the style I like on the bottom. So maybe I'll find one or two pieces, but it's very likely that I will walk away with maybe like a dress um, and then just some tops. Anyway. So, I'm gonna head to the Goodwill and let's see what we can find. But before we get into this video, don't forget to pause, go down below and hit the subscribe button if you are new. It is beautiful and red and white and calling out your name and I want you to join the Glitterbook fam, as do I and as does the rest of the fam. Now, without further ado, let's head over to the Goodwill. Hey guys, today we are at the Goodwill and we are gonna be seeing if we can thrift some spring outfits. I just dropped off a humongous trash bag worth of stuff and then a couple of like grocery bags worth of stuff because I was cleaning out my closet. Um, and I also went through all of my winter stuff and decided what of that I was gonna get put away. And I realized that I own a lot of either tank tops or long sleeve shirts. I own very few t-shirts and very few short sleeve shirts. Um, they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. Yeah, it, it's weird because I find that I'm almost always wearing tank tops and t-shirts. So the fact that I don't own as many as I thought I did is like a little bit weird. So I thought that it would be a little fun to see if we can find some spring outfits, which might include some t-shirts or short sleeve shirts. Um, because you know, the spring in Virginia at least can still like today is in like the fifties. Um, but earlier this week it was 80. So you never know what the weather is going to look like. And so, um, it might be nice just to have some short sleeve shirts for those in between days. Um, so we're gonna head inside. It is incredibly busy. I think every single parking spot except for one is full and it's like one o'clock in the afternoon. So it's possible we won't find anything we like, but at least we're trying, you know? So let's head inside and see if we can find some spring outfits. Obviously southern some of the clothes is around here. This is cute. This is such an interesting vibe. It looks like it's gonna be too small, but there's no size on it. So I'm gonna try this on. I have like four things so far. And I don't know. This is kind of spring, right? This is like super trendy right now. Not my style, but a lot of people would love that. Y'all, it is so busy in here. It's so awkward. So I've looked through the pink, the purple, and the blues and greens, which are like the colors I wear the most. Um, so I wear a lot of pink, a lot of red, a lot of black, a lot of blue. Um, a lot of gray actually as well. So I'm now heading into the gray section over here. Can you see it? I should have just moved you. Here's the gray section. Um, hey, how are you? So six dollars and it is on here for seven that okay 
just have a bag of full of stuff. Um, and we're just gonna organize it, and then we're gonna try it on. This one I like. I don't necessarily like it brown, but like that. Absolutely. This is so cute. I love this color and the print. This makes me feel so wide. Absolutely not. I do not. Oh, I have mixed feelings about this one. I think this would be like a really cute shirt to wear with leggings. Uh, I'm not sure I would grab for it. I think this would be a cute casual dress again. I'm just not sure I would ever grab for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is a cute concept, but I feel like a pilgrim. think this is like a super trendy skirt however I'm not sure I don't think so they're really comfy but I'm not sure what not flattering. Like. Oh, y'all. That was. That was a trip. And we're back. So this was an eventful Goodwill trip. I actually ran into, I, so I thrifted in my hometown. Um, and so I actually ran into my high school boyfriend's mom. Um, and it was really nice to see her and just catch up. I haven't seen her obviously since, um, Oh, well, you know, it's been a long time. So he and I broke up about four years ago now, and I think I've probably seen his mom maybe once or twice um, just in like random grocery stores across town. Um, but yeah, so it was nice to just catch up, see how she was doing, hear about her life and whatever. Um, he and I dated for a long time, three years. Um, so, you know, when you date somebody for that long, you sort of get invested in their family. And so it was nice to just like chit chat with her. I also ran into one of my good friends from high school's brother um and so i chit chatted with him for a little while we were talking about easter plans um so yeah very eventful day it took me a long time to get through the store with the many conversations i got started with like the goodwill cashier trying to chat me up and me not knowing what to do um so there was like yeah a lot going on in this goodwill trip um but i did manage to get a like five things i think i got five items that I am so stoked about. So I'm very, very excited. And just for reference, I live in a very rural town. This is the only Goodwill for maybe like 30 minutes um, from our area. So this is the one that I go to the most, but pretty much on any given day that I go thrifting in my hometown, I am sure to find at least six Duck Dynasty t-shirts. So I definitely found several of those today, but now, I am rambling, so let me dive in to the stuff I got. Okay, so the first thing I got is a little band tee. Um, so I got this out of the men's section. So this is from the band Time Flies. This is from their After Hours tour, which is in 2015. Um, and you know, these people traveled to go to the show because they did not come to Virginia. Um, and then they chucked the shirt. <laughs> so, I mean, not sure. Fake fan? I'm not sure. 
But either way, I picked up this shirt. It is a tour shirt, so like this seems like the kind of shirt you would have had to have gotten at the actual tour. Let me just tell you, this is a nice quality piece of merch. I've been to many concerts. I have gotten merch at almost every show. This is the softest t-shirt I've ever felt in my life. It is really soft. Real, real nice. Another t-shirt that I picked up out of the men's section is actually a 2XL, which is going to be very large on me. Um, and I could tell that I did not try this shirt on, but I could tell by looking at it, it was. But I think I might crop it. So it is just this very oversized like very oversized um black t-shirt from the men's section that has the levi's logo on it so like i said i think i'm gonna crop this t-shirt um i think it'll be really cute it's just like, like a little cropped number um and it will be an oversized crop i don't actually crop my t-shirts to be like belly shirts as most people do i crop them to hit right like right at my belly button or like just below it um, just because I don't feel comfortable with my belly button showing so it's not like the most cropped crop but it is going to be shorter <laughs> um, but yeah I did pick this up and I think that it would be a fun little styling moment it will make for a cool photo um, branding is a huge trend for the last it has been for the last several years just having brand names presented on the front of t-shirts and Levi's is an incredible jean brand, denim brand, and I love everything about Levi's. Um, so yeah, I did pick this shirt up. It's gonna be an adventure figuring out how to make this work. The next thing I got and I'm actually really, really excited about, this is not a spring item at all. <laughs> um, yeah, but so this is also in an XL and this is from the men's section as well. And I couldn't pass this up. I did try to stay away from sweaters and stuff, but this is the freaking coolest. And the color is not really showing up on camera as well as I would want it to. It is this really beautiful, deep teal color, which almost looks, at least from my point of view, in the viewfinder, like a little bit of like a, a dark grayish blue color, green color, kind of. But it is a really beautiful teal bluish green color um, and then it has stripes on it which if you guys have been around for a while you know I'm a sucker for stripes. I love them. They're my favorite pattern on clothing. So I, yeah, I did pick this up. It's a little quarter button. I haven't tried this on either but I'm sure I'm going to love it. The last two things I did try on, and they're the most spring things, and these are from the women's section, from the women's shirts or like blouse section. Um, so this first piece is from the brand Live To Be Spoiled. This is in a size medium, and honestly, this is like a perfect fit, and I love it so much. So I picked up this little red top, and like the fabric is super, super stretchy, really comfortable, very, very soft. Um, and I just thought this was such a beautiful springy summery top um, so you have this really really fun embroidered flower print happening on the front and then you have I'm not sure that you can see it this tribal print looking almost doily like lace in the front right here um, and I just thought that this was absolutely darling and it has a fun it almost looks like a pom-pom little garland situation going on around the collar and a slight little baby peplum um, it has an elasticated bit at the bottom and then ruffles happen in and yeah I mean I just I thought that this was such a beautiful shirt it's this really beautiful bright reddish orange color um, which is a color I do often gravitate towards and so yeah very 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 excited to be able to style and play with that. The next top that I got was also a medium. Um, this is from the Universal Threads brand, which is a Target brand. And I'm obsessed with this top. So this is a very beautiful light lavender, almost lilac color purple shirt. Um, it has tiny little rosettes embroidered in it. Um, and just like a very small, embroidered pattern just going all the way down the shirt in vertical stripes and I just found this to be such a flattering silhouette um, so you have a very slight v-neck going on in the front it's almost a swoop a swoop neck but it is a slight v-neck you have this little peekaboo hole in the back 
And then these really beautiful, floaty, very flirty sleeves happening here. It's a wide sleeve, which is something that I'm always looking for in tops because I hate when things grab my armpits. Um, it makes me uncomfortable. Um, so yeah, this is just a really beautiful floaty purple top. This does hit at a cropped height, like that cropped height I was saying before, just above, just below the belly button. Um, so perfect height for a high-waisted jean or a high-waisted skirt. Um, you can even tuck it in, which is my preferred method of wearing tops these days. Um, so yeah, absolutely love, love, love this. Okay guys, so that is everything I got. I didn't get that much, and to be fair, I feel like two out of the five pieces I got are really spring pieces. The other ones are just random everyday pieces that you can wear. Um, so, yeah. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this very small um, thrifted haul. I didn't really find that much this time around, but that's sort of just how it goes. Sometimes you find a lot, sometimes you find nothing, sometimes you find a little. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Um, and don't forget to go down below and subscribe, as I said before. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to in ways of videos, in ways of the springtime. Um, yeah. Anyway, I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Yes.